hope that when people walk in that they see it, that they feel that it's a space of calm but it's also welcoming and warm really a place where you can kind of leave your troubles at the door when Cena Montgomery was designing her home she knew she wanted it to be somewhere her family could take refuge I try to make my home a haven and a sanctuary from the rest of the world. Okay, ready? Everything from the color palette to the furniture to every finishing touch, it all invites a feeling of peace. And it was intentional all the way down to the rooms of her three darling kids. have spaces in our home that are dedicated to play and to fun and to all of that and so for me I wanted to intentionally create retreats for them where they could go and they could relax. I hope that they're really representative of them and you know things that they love. Sita says your place shouldn't be full of the latest trends because trends they come and go. Instead, she offers this advice. If you can clear your mind of all of the Pinterest pins and all of the blogs, pictures, and all of that, and really stick um, to your guns in terms of what you love, I think that you will be happy with your home. If you fill your home with things that you love and an aesthetic that you love, then it doesn't really matter what all the different trends are. You know, at the end of the day, what matters is how you feel in your space. And her home is all her. When I am designing, I just know what feels comfortable to me and have managed to stay true to myself in my own home. Choose a red one. <laughs> Thank you.